All righty. So um, let's start um, with um, the agenda. Has everyone had a chance to read the minutes? Brian, nice job on the minutes. Um, great memory. Um, can't say I would have known that, but um, there are Can no ask, questions. Yes, I do have a question. Wasn't there another meeting between the July and the and this one, or did it get canceled? Because there no. was there was a meeting no. scheduled, I think, in August that I couldn't make because I was on a board of directors meeting for another group I'm with. Our last meeting um, was July eighth. Okay, it was. Okay. Okay, so. We have um, those minutes in front of us, and that's what we are going to vote on. Do I have a motion? Yes, I move. I move to accept the minutes. Second. 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 Good. All righty. All those in favor, let's take a roll call. Paul, yes. Patty, yes. Jim, yes. Dan, yes. Tom, <laughs> yes. Okay. Passed. We're through. Okay, good. Um, I'm expecting um, this meeting to be relatively brief, um, depending on how the discussions go. But um, let's just uh, let's just get right into it into the transparency project. Um, I think everybody saw the um, the email from Brian that we have a healthcare number of thirteen thousand four hundred nine dollars per employee. Um, we have to 40 total eligible employees with 24 actually taking the health care number, giving us a total um, expenditure of 321.822 um, to the town. Uh, Brian, is there anything you'd like to say about those numbers or the situation itself? Um. <clears throat> Not necessarily. Okay. I mean, we can, we can, I mean, it's 15, so 15 for the school, nine for the non school. Um, but like a lot of things that a lot of our costs are, are related to the, you know, to education. So, sure. Okay. Um, the other piece of this, of, of for the whole process that we had discussed last time was, trying to firm up a population number. Um, I can't quite remember, and I don't have it written down, as to who was, he, who was going to track that number or try to get a hold of that number. Um, did anybody? Let's just put it that way. Um, I came up with a number last time from... Okay. The, that was 1,537 people in the town of Waitley as of July 1. In okay. The in the minutes, the last meeting. <clears throat> Did I read those minutes? Yes, Doc. <laughs> um, okay. Hey, Tom, we're only seeing the top of your head, by the way. Jesus. Angle your um, camera down. <laughs> I've got the... How's that? Yeah. Am I blinding you? <laughs> um, <clears throat> here it is. 1537. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. So we've got those numbers. Um, next piece, compensation. Patty? I have not. I Honestly, I have not done anything. Um, I Actually, I would like to get with you, Paul, sometime in the next couple of weeks to go okay. over exactly what it is that we need to do or that okay. I need to do. I'm happy to do it. I just uh, let me throw this out. Direction. Okay, let me throw this out, and um, and it's open, obviously, for discussion mm -hmm. and comment. Um, thinking about the compensation thing, thinking about originally where where we said uh, median compensation versus the mean compensation, and every time you go through those kind of processes, uh, what skews the entire um. The entire number is the fact that we have so many um, payments that go out for a small amount of activity. Right. Um, so what I was thinking, and I want to know how everyone else thinks, is that we just do a total compensation. We find we get we just track the total compensation 
for all employees within the town and school by year. And that's it. Um, I think that simplifies it greatly. I think, um, yeah, I, I think it, it, it's at least a very good start. Um, right. You know, we can, we can narrow it down as, as, as we progress through mm -hmm. this process. But I yep. think that that's a, that's a good start. Okay. So, um, so I think that's, that's where we start. And if we want to dissect the, that number any more downstream, well, we can have that conversation then. And uh, right now, that's the way we go with it. Um, so, okay, so that's that. Uh, town government, Jim, I know you're on top of that. And are we still with those numbers? Well, not exactly, since we now have the health insurance numbers. Uh, okay. of the nine people that are non-school, I guess I need to know how many of those nine are general government so I can factor that into the total budget. Okay. So there you go. So that's 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 the next that's your, that's what you gotta do for the next meeting. So we can bring bring it all together. Everybody have a number for the next meeting, and then we'll put it on, we'll put it in black and white and try to get a format that looks good for um um, for the website. Um, I have you, another question, Paul, if I may. Yeah. <clears throat> in addition to the health insurance, are there any other benefits that we need to factor in to the categories that we've discussed previously? You know, such as, yeah. I'm just throwing out an, a, a, an idea, you know, life insurance, uh, workers' comp, blah, blah, blah. You know, mm -hmm. there's a host of the benefit payments. Let's not break it down that way. You're, right. you're going to get too minute with everything if you start that. Um, yeah. Um, it depends on how significant they are. Right. It depends. Well, to be all of that should be captured in the compensation. I realize that part of it. Um, now, but that does, does that fall under town government specifically? Um, it kind of has its own. <sighs> no, I don't think so. No, no. Not in my opinion. <clears throat> I mean, right. each, each department has the same benefits. Right. And their own share of the costs. Right. Um, so you feel like it, like I, I, I don't know if we need to in. I'm just asking the question. Yeah. Are, are the numbers of these other benefits significant enough to isolate and pull back into the departments? Um, I don't think so. I don't think so because, you know, this initiative is for what people vote on on town floor. So this website will allow people prior to town floor to look and see what, in this case, town government was costing us per person last year. And now this year, what the increase or decrease, what the change in town government costs are, and insurance and benefits are going to be absorbed in other departments. Um, most specifically, the compensation that Patty's going to put together. With your help, um, yes. You good? <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> oh, okay, Jim, is that... Yep, that's fine. Oh, okay. That's fine. Okay, okay good. Uh, Tom, how you doing on fire and police? Same thing. I got now that I got a number, I got to find out how many people are getting the help. Do we going to do it that way? Find out who's getting the health insurance? Well, I think mm, so. I can I add that cost into what we're paying. I don't know. Well, that 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 
goes for each every department. Anybody it does. who's getting health insurance. Well, it does. Yeah. Um, well, so I true. I just emailed out the spreadsheet that Lynn provides us each year during the budget yeah. season, and that if you go on the town active tab, it breaks it down by department. Okay. Oh, it does. Yeah. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay, so we now have that, and we could add that in. So you have the number of number of plans assigned okay. to that department. Each so, okay. so, so general government, there's one. Um, and we police, there's two. Um, highway and water, I think, are the other ones. There's no other ones for. So we don't need names. The, oh, that's no. the main thing is we don't want names. Uh, if, yeah. So, Tom, Tom, are you good with that? Yeah, I'm good with that. Okay. All right. Perfect. Um, Bobby's not here for Whaley Elementary School. So um, I will start to pick the ball up on that um, for our next get together. Um, so we'll leave that at that. Now, I'll go right down to Frontier Regional High School. And we're going to, in terms of the population, we're going to use 71 students as being in there. And the total, um, the total cost to the town of Waitley, the Frontier Regional High School, um, is 996436. Divide that by 71 students. It comes out to $14,034 per student. Okay. The interesting thing is, in the correspondence I got from Shelly Pareda, she says that cost per pupil at Frontier Regional High School, all pupils, all towns, is 24000 and change. Well, that's a big difference. So that's a big difference. Oh, they come up with that. And uh, that's that's um, and that's one that I'm not real uh, comfortable with. So um, we'll have to revisit that a little bit. Um, but for right here and now, um, Brian, um, did you hear that? Yeah. Uh, so she's probably giving you a. Uh... Um, a cost for educating a student, um, you know, total costs for all five, four towns. Um, correct. And That's we're correct. just looking at, we're just looking at the cost to Waitley. Yeah. Um, so it could be a difference and she's probably factoring in, um, state money. Yeah. State money, probably, um, yeah. chapter 70 money yeah. and any, yeah. any yeah. other types of grants yeah. and things like that. Um, I'm with, just curious. Right. Did you did you include the regional transportation amount in that? Is that nine nine six whatever include? Because we pay we pay a right, so it's broken out. We pay a uh, an assessment, and then we pay a regional transportation assessment. So, is that on town floor? Um, I'm trying to think in the but. It, in our budget, we break it out, but I think probably the total amount is combined. Is that we vote on. Yeah. That's, so, that's yeah, it's right. probably total. Yeah. That's what I would think. So <clears throat> if everything's combined right now, we're looking at 14 grand in $34 to the town of Waitley per student. So that is, um, I'm going to double check with Shelly Parade again. I've had a rough August, so I haven't done any communication with her <laughs> during during the hot months. You know, now that it's starting to cool off, maybe it'll be a little, it won't be quite as bristly. Um, okay, um, Dan, highway. Yeah, I come up with a with a number on that, and I will uh, put in the cost. And average that out just for the four persons that are working on the highway and bring it down to add that cost to the uh, uh, 48 miles for it per mile. And going Perfect. by the numbers that we have already, which does include the salary. So mm -hmm. I just have to add in the uh, insurance benefits. Terrific. 
Okay. Um, when, let me just get back quickly to, um, to the, to, to the employee picture. Um, we need to make sure that we're all on the same page in terms of how many are in the school and how many are on the town side, even though they're all town. Um, Brian, do you have that number? Brian? Let me unmute myself before I talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since I, well. Yeah. Okay. It hasn't been a while because there's a slip or being last night, but. Hmm. Um, So I want to confirm this, but what I have from the Bureau of Labor Statistics that we've reported on is 36. 36? Yeah. Town? 36 total. 36 total employees? Yep. And... How, but that seems low. That, that's, that's low. That's it just seems well, low. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, 36 um, people getting a paycheck? Of any 36, 36 employees. So I want to see what that definition is. Yeah, that um, doesn't seem high enough. Oh, yeah, seems. I mean, in terms of traditional sort of employees, that's probably close to accurate. Yeah. Um, but every, you know, we have, like we talked about last time, we have different types of special employees where mm -hmm. they may get a stipend or they may work 10 hours that's um, your whole fire department is like that correct yeah that's I true hmm. yeah um and i i guess it's i guess it's worth a, a a quick conversation about what are we trying to get at um because for instance the select boards are, select board is considered special employees um right. and like the fire department there's people on that on that roster who and we probably don't want to go that deep, but maybe haven't gone to a call in like uh, three or four years. Yeah. Um, yeah. And even yeah. the police reserve, you know, there's mm -hmm. people on the reserve list, but they don't work a lot. If did, uh, did we have a, did we, I know we may have, I think we kicked this around before. Did we come up with some kind of agreement saying that we were just going to look at full-time employees? Um, we wouldn't want to do full time because that's that's a very few. Um, well, if we're talking forty, that's only. Well, it's most of the school actually, and then yeah, myself, Keith, and Jim. But that's about it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. So. Well, I'm certainly going to be interested in the breakdown if I'm going to do this Waitley Elementary School, and we can I can follow up with you on that. You know via email um and search that out a little bit um but um it looks like it looks like everything else is there for us to compute um the per pupil the per mile the per resident costs um and then we can put those together, see how it looks, get a format for it, and uh, have an agreement that that's the way we want to roll for. Um, how did we uh, decide to come up with the per resident number? How? Well, let's say somebody owns a house in Wendy, but they don't live here and they rent it out. Are we counting the rental people or are we going by who pays the taxes? Jim, when you came up to 1537, what did that come from? The question I asked Lynn was, what is the population of the town of Waitley? And the answer was 1537 as of July 1. That's all I can tell you right now. Hmm. So well, those that are include, That includes uh, all residents, including those that are not of voting age? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 
Boy, yeah. don't start to say we got that many old timers that are voting. <laughs> it's a small town, you know. <laughs> it is. It is. And, and it's one of the few towns that actually grew over the past 10 years. So, yeah, well, in Franklin County. Very attractive. It's a very attractive place to live. Um, yeah, okay. my, both of my kids are moving out, so that's okay. <laughs> oh, they'll be back. Um, yeah, they, they're already. Yeah, they they come back a couple of times. They come back. <laughs> Just feed them. Just put a few meals on the table every now and then. They come back. Um, okay, so um, is everybody clear how we're going to move forward now? Um, in the numbers that we need to have. Um, you're going to put in, you know, we will put in the, um, the healthcare numbers. Um, I'll do a little deeper dive into the Waitley Elementary School. Um, maybe I'll talk with Bobby. Maybe he's done something along those lines. And um, Patty's going Paul, to do total yeah, no, Paul, I would like, Yeah, I would like you, I would like to have a separate meeting with you just to make sure I'm, I'm okay, doing fine. what it is that you want. Sure. That's all. Okay, okay, good. Uh, so just send me an email when you have time. <clears throat> okay. You good? All right, good. Um, all right, um, next meeting. Um, Brian? Hello, Brian. Hello. Brian Domina. <laughs> Come in. Okay. Hey, um, Zoom, Zoom's open. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you have on your calendar that fits into your schedule? Because, well, because we like you to make that decision. That's right. Um, you might not want to, my calendar is pretty full, so you might not want to work around mine. <laughs> uh oh. Um, no, but I can do, uh, Thursdays work fine. Thursdays are good. Okay. Um, Thursdays, Tuesdays. Can we say two weeks from today? Does that, is, is that too soon? Or? Yeah, it, I, I'm going to say Paul, it is for me because we, uh, okay. I work on the federal cal calendar and okay. we're in the end of the fiscal year. So my All life right. gets really crazy. So if okay. we can go into the last week of September or the first week of, of October, I'd be good. Okay. What if we were to do October 7? Is that good for everybody? Yes. 10, yeah. 7, 6 o'clock, same, same time, same place. Same bad time, same bad channel. Yep. All right. Someone please smile at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We didn't forget that yet um okay and hopefully hopefully it's going to be a, a in-person meeting yeah keep i your doubt it i doubt it i doubt it too but keep your fingers crossed um well, all right so um just just before we go um the um i don't know if every if, if you i sent it out and i i'm guessing everybody saw it but there's that um, is that ta taxation meeting, um, taxation working group. I didn't know if anybody might want to volunteer for that. I thought so. Okay. <laughs> oh, I already on, volunteered for the COVID thing. Well, there might be popcorn there, so yeah. I'm thinking that's going to be good. Okay. All you right. Bring I'll your own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can't um, share food these days. Okay. So I'm there. All righty. Um, if there are no, no other questions or comments, do I have a motion to adjourn? I moved. Second. Second? Yep. Okay. That's all we need.